You know, it's uh, fun sometimes to think about the past and try to imagine how uh, people did things that we take for granted these days. For example, uh, an item like this, uh, your disposable uh, pen or a pencil, something we take for granted, just a common thing to put in our pockets and we can be off and uh, ready to write. But have you ever thought to wonder how did people in old Japan do uh, use writing instruments when, before pens and pencils were developed and uh, brush writing was the status uh, quo for writing. Well, the answer was this item right here. This is called a yatate and it is a brush case and inkwell. This style of item was used in old Japan to uh, basically uh, provide a portable writing unit for people to uh, carry around with them. The uh, person would uh, put this item into their obi sash so they wear their kimono and have the obi going across their waist and stiff, stuff this in it would kind of sit like this and be ready for use. The, there's an there's a interesting function of every aspect of this item's design. Um, first of all there's this long tube part and that's where the actual uh, writing brush would be kept and if you uh, open this little door here you can see that there's a uh, hollow space in there and that's where the brush would go in. This uh, lidded area here is the actual ink well. So this is where the uh, ink would be kept and this lid uh, you know, protects it from uh, spilling when in use. Now you might wonder uh, how does ink uh, transport in a horizontal fashion in an ink well like this without spilling out? Well, the, the clever mechanism that uh, people used back then was that they would stuff uh, cotton uh, um, wadding inside and then uh, saturate the, that cotton with ink and that way the ink wouldn't spill out. And uh, this old um, inkwell actually has the original, let's see if I can get the light on there just right, you can actually see there is the actual original cotton wadding inside uh, with its dried ink holding it in place. Very interesting. There is no brush though. Some of these yatate you will find will actually have a, a little knife section as well. Um, that's an interesting uh, item. This one does not. Um, so uh, what we have is an item, uh, basically a portable writing kit from the uh, late 19th or early 20th century. It's made out of copper, of uh, very nice craftsmanship. You can see some of the details here. A very unique and interesting item, a, a wonderful conversation piece. Wouldn't that be fun to uh, put this out on the coffee table and uh, watch your guests try to uh, figure out what it was and then have a conversation about uh, the conveniences of uh, the modern age and how people got by in the old days. So it's just another interesting item from old Japan. I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, seeing this item. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.